Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are taking a look at um, what I think is an interesting topic. It is how to face off against some of these bases that aren't uh, the ones we see in CWL, maybe the ones that you guys see often. It's the maybe anti two star, or maybe just an older version of an anti three star base that doesn't have the mechanisms we see nowadays to try to defend against the three stars. These are non meta bases, but they can be tricky sometimes. Uh, so they can be deceptively hard. Through this video, we're going to take a look at some attacks at each town hall level, talk about what the main things you want to look to do are. And this first one, those queen walks often are so much easier because people are putting the air defenses uh, reachable by the queen. You can see she was able to snipe one of those air defenses so it wouldn't shoot off the healers. Um, the queen walks are going to be much nicer. So this is a queen walk. Um, queen walk vomit is what people call it, but I guess some people don't like that name. Queen walk mass bowler basically. A uh, huge value on that warden's ability, like insane value. Uh, pretty much every troop in this attack was in that Grand Warden's Tome. So you want to look to do those queen walks, the queen charges, if you can, um, because people aren't going to optimize their base to make defenses not reachable by the queen, to put the expos far back, to target the queen, to put the air defenses back, to shoot down the healers. People aren't thinking about that as much in these non-meta bases, so you can definitely look to do that, as was done in this attack. And also, to some extent, you're going to want to overwhelm the base. These bases tend to be more compact, and if you're doing too surgical of an attack, your troops will get spread thin. So look to really take advantage of the Warden's Tome, get a bunch of troops, uh, specifically like bowlers, in the core of the base, under rage, with the tome and you can basically do some serious damage here so this base is toast um, a lot of giants left up some boulders behind them and uh, these last few troops will go through nice attack here to queen of battle these attacks coming from one hive trinity so we'll move on to the next one here town hall 11 hit um, i believe number six um, another thing you want to think about is there's oftentimes a lot of value in just a very small kill squad. So be careful of using a big kill squad, then waiting, then doing your hogs or your laloon, because in these bases that are more compact than usual, it's you don't want to try to go too separate in terms of doing uh, these phased attacks. But what is okay is if you're just going to do a very small kill squad, in this case a golem and the heroes, if you're just going to do that, um, you can afford to do a phased attack, a multi-part attack here. Um, right here, the wall breakers almost died to the uh, Tesla, but luckily it locks onto the king. And then in goes the golem, the hero's behind. And like I said, a small kill squad, but getting archer tower, I think maybe two archer towers, I couldn't quite see there. Tesla, air defense, CC troops, queen, and wizard tower. So insane value. Uh, right here, this dragon isn't going to quite go down, but a few minions will finish it off. Uh, Queen just can't quite get it, unfortunately. Um, so a nice touch there with the minions. And now uh, from here, the Lalo is going to start. And like I said, there's enough in this Lalo, two hounds, the blimp, a bunch of loons, pretty much all the spells. Uh, I think actually all the spells besides the poison, plus the warden following everything behind. Um, that it, it makes sense to kind of do a phased attack here because there's so much power. Um, the spell deployment wasn't the best, but there were um, the rages are pretty priced. I mean, these are great rages getting the eagle, um, high HP buildings, and then right here, the warden's ability. Um, good timing, it protects those balloons as they push through. You always want to have those balloons under haste while they have that eternal tome ability because then they can push farther and get more value while they have that invincibility. Um, so right here, the warden actually gets targeted, which was kind of funny, but these last few hastes just has plenty of hastes left over. So this base is finished, uh, a bunch of balloons left up, and time, not too much of an issue. Fast forward to the end here, um, and we'll move along. So two things we've gone through so far. First, you want to try to look for queen walks, queen charges, uh, there's some great value there and then also small kill squads you know golem heroes can bite off a much bigger chunk than would otherwise be available 
Be careful of a big kill squad, though. Let's move on to base number 9 here. I believe this was a 10v10. Um, this one, okay, a little bit of a bigger kill squad. So if you're going to do this, you've got to make sure everything's in sync. You're going to be overwhelming the base. The worst thing you can do against a compact anti-two-star type base that we're seeing here and that we've seen in the past is do like a big kill squad, then wait, let your kill squad die, then start your hogs. It's very inefficient. You want to get that mutual tanking value. So uh, pretty, I mean, the funnel was decent here. A few bowlers are going to kind of walk. A nice freeze on the Inferno. Could have waited a little bit longer and get the CC troops in it, but not a huge deal. And then um, pretty good value. You know, uh, Inferno, Queen, King, bunch of just defenses, even a back end jump, which I thought was interesting, really uh, banking on the uh, the value of that kill squad. And then here come the hogs, protecting the heroes flanks and also getting the benefit of the tanking from the king from the golem. So it makes it it makes it okay, it makes it worth it. And of course, it helps that there's like no spring traps in this base. I have no idea what this guy's spring traps would even be because all these defenses are touching. So that definitely makes it easier. But you can see, if you let the queen die, this easily could have been a fail. Um, if you let the golems die quicker and didn't get some value from them tanking for the hogs, or the king tanking for the hogs, it also could have been a fail. So you gotta do things in sync on these compact bases. That's the key often uh, to, to three-starring them. So uh, the hogs move through, finish off these last few defenses. Once again, we'll fast forward. A nice three star and we'll move on to one more attack to take a look at and then we will wrap this up um, so what number do we have here number 16 I cannot remember the last time I've showed a town hall 9 attack on my channel it's kind of sad but I mean can you blame me we're not seeing a whole lot of town hall 9 we don't actually even have any town hall 9s in one hive genesis right now uh, but it's witches. I, from what I've heard, what I've seen in a very limited way, I think witches have really been the dominant troop here. And um, I'm not sure if there's plans to change that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut up about any updates before I uh, get myself in trouble here. But I think that right now witches are basically the go-to at Town Hall 9. Of course, a ton of stuff works, but they're probably the safest choice. And if you're a Town Hall 9 attacking... A base like this uh, hopefully you're tripling it but just witches on both sides bowlers up the middle uh, pretty uh, foolproof technique here definitely helps having the level 30 heroes so I thought I'd show one Town Hall 9 attack just for sake of completeness and a bit of a throwback to Town Hall 9 um, so anyway yeah just things move through so easily uh, the witches are hard to kill. Doesn't even have to be the best deployment. Actually, I think he lost like two witches to spring traps, which was interesting. But um, it, it won't really matter here because he has the witches at the bottom. Plus, the queen made it all the way through, has her ability still. So, Town Hall 9, I would definitely recommend if you're defending using a troll Tesla. Um, if not multiple troll Teslas with like giant bombs by them, even. Just, you know, do whatever you have to do, fair or unfair to uh, try to defend that first hit, if, especially if you're going against max Town Hall 9 offenses. Um, so anyway, this attack will wrap up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not able to upload quite as much, a little bit busier around this time of year, but doing my best. And um, one more thing, I have a video uh, that I should have coming out tomorrow or the next day. I think you guys will really like um, a little a little something new for the channel. So I won't say anything beyond that, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.